The Old Rag Hike in Shenandoah National Park, Virginia is one of the most strenuous yet very popular day hikes in the national park. It is my favorite hike in Shenandoah National Park due to an adventurous scramble section that few hikes offer on the eastern side of the U.S. There are several different route options to reach Old Rag Summit. In this video, I'm going to explain these different route options and help you decide which option will be the best route for you to take. I'm also going to provide information you need to know before you head out there and attempt this hike. So while you're here, if you enjoy travel and nature related content, we post videos like that. So please consider hitting the subscribe button. All right, we're going to begin this video with some helpful need to know information about the Old Rag Hike. Old Rag Summit is located in the Eastern Central area of Shenandoah National Park in the state of Virginia. Depending on which route option you take, there are a few different parking areas to begin your hike. I'm going to talk about those more further into this video, but the most important thing you need to know before you attempt the old rag hike is that you will need a day use permit to do the hike. They implemented this permit system several years ago. So if you're doing this hike between March 1st and November 30th, you will need to order a permit in advance to do this hike. You can get your permits on recreation.gov. I have a link for that in the description under this video. As you can see in the pink shaded area on this map, that covers the day use ticketed area. That's a pretty broad area surrounding Old Rag Mountain. So no matter which trail route option I offer to you guys, you will need a permit to do this hike. The first hiking route option I want to talk about is the most popular option, and that is to do the Old Rag Loop. The Old Rag Loop starts from the Old Rag parking and fee station area just east of the National Park. I have coordinates for this trailhead parking area in the description under this video if you need to save that information. As I mentioned, the Old Rag Loop is the most popular route to take. It is a loop hike, not an out and back hike. This is my favorite way to do this hike. And in my opinion, that's the best way to do the Old Rag Hike because it includes the adventurous scramble section. This trailhead starts from that Old Rag parking fee station. In that big parking area, there is a ranger station there. There is a restroom facility. So the ranger station is where you'll show your permit to do the hike. You'll also show your entrance pass there. Because this hike is in Shenandoah National Park, you will need a Shenandoah National Park pass. To the left of the ranger station, you'll cross over a little bridge and that is the start of the hike. If you choose to do this route, this is about 9.3, 9.4 miles round trip and 2,600 feet elevation gain. You can expect this hike to take anywhere from six to eight hours to complete. The first part of this hike is just going through the forest without any vista type views. You're really just going back and forth on switchbacks, making your way up in elevation, going through that forest along the trail until you come to a couple little open clearing areas where you get a little bit of a view. You'll go around an elbow turn, and then that's where the start of the scramble is. If you're keeping track of your distance throughout the hike, for reference, the scramble will begin around mile 2.5. During this rock scramble, you'll have to climb over rocks, you'll have to duck under some rocks, and you'll have to wedge yourself between rock crevices for the next mile. This is by far the most fun part of the hike. If you're into this kind of stuff, for others, this is the scariest part of the hike. Some of the climbs are slippery, so be very careful while climbing up rocks. And throughout this scramble, there will be times where you'll need to prop yourself up using your upper body strength and lower yourself down into crevices. So I recommend having some upper body strength and balance to be able to safely do this hike. You may be wondering, how do you know which way to go while you're scrambling through these rocks? And the answer is the blue paint marks. The Park Service has applied blue 
paint marks on different parts of the route here for you to follow your path to the Old Rag Summit. Some people say it is a bit difficult to follow. If you've gone farther than 50 feet and you haven't seen any blue paint marks, you might be going the wrong direction. If you happen to have a GPS tracking app like All Trails for hiking, that is really helpful in keeping you on the trail. Around mile 3.2, you'll come to a false summit. It's a big rock dome area with 360 degree views all around you of the surrounding mountains. In my opinion, this view is better than the actual summit of Old Rag, but not everyone agrees with me on that. You'll continue after mile 3.2 along that trail with a couple more scrambles until you come to a trail intersection where you can make a right hand turn to go to the summit of Old Rag. Once you make it to the summit, this is a great spot to just sit down and take in those views. Maybe have a snack if you packed that with you. Definitely take a little water break. I've done this hike several times and it's always pretty windy up at the top of Old Rag. So you might wanna pack a windbreaker if you plan to have a snack while at the summit. This entire hike is pack in and pack out. There are no trash cans or trash bins anywhere. So keep that in mind. If you have a snack or a sandwich while you're up there, make sure you put it back in your pack and take it out with you. After leaving that side trail that leads you from the summit to the main trail, you'll make a right and begin your descent down the saddle trail. For the next two miles, you'll continue down switchbacks and steps through the forest going downhill where you'll pass the bird's nest shelter. Farther down, you'll pass the old rag shelter and you'll continue until you make it to post office junction. Once you make it to post office junction, the trail becomes relatively easy. At this intersection, you're going to make a right onto the Weekly Hollow Fire Road. This is a much wider trail that is also used as a fire road. So this path is wider and less strenuous, less steep than other parts of the hike. You'll continue on the Weekly Hollow Fire Road for the next three and a quarter miles gently making your way down in elevation. You'll cross over two little bridges. If you're looking at this all trails map, the trail has you taking a right after that second bridge and continuing on a path to take you a longer route back to the parking lot. But if you continue straight, you'll take a small paved trail to the road. Then you just make a right and it's a short walk back to the parking lot. So it's a shorter, route back if you just go straight there instead of turning right. And that concludes the Old Rag Mountain Loop Trail. Our second hiking route option is route option two, which would be to take the Ridge Trail to the Old Rag Summit and then hike back down the same way that you came. I don't recommend taking this trail route option, primarily because you're gonna have to go back down the scramble the same way you came up, and most of the traffic is coming up that scramble, not down. So you are gonna have to wait while everybody goes up until it clears for you to go down, and it's just gonna mess up the flow of the hike for everyone else. We did not see anyone coming down as we were coming up the scramble, so it's not done very often. So if you want to cut a little bit more than two miles off of that loop hike and you don't mind waiting to get in between little crevices and things like that while people are coming against you on the hike, that might be the best option for you. This brings us to hiking route option number three, which is hiking from Berry Hollow on the Saddle Trail to Old Rag Summit. The Berry Hollow parking area is located southwest of the Old Rag Summit and the Old Rag Mountain Loop parking area. This hiking route is 5.4 miles out and back type of trail with over 1700 feet elevation gain. 
the main thing to know about this hike is you do not have the rock scramble to get to the summit. You would park at Berry Hollow, start on Berry Hollow Fire Road. That path meets with the post office junction. From there, you'd make a right turn and start heading up the hill on the saddle trail, which includes steps and some steeper switchbacks, but it does not include any of the rock scramble. Once you get up to the summit of Old Rag, you would just head back the way you came down to your parking area. If you want to hike to the top of Old Rag, you want the trail option with the least mileage and you prefer to miss the rock scramble, then this is gonna be the best hiking route option for you. The fourth and final route option I can provide you today is the Old Rag Fire Road to the Saddle Trail, which will take you to the summit. It is an out and back type trail with about 13 miles to take you out and back. And I did not calculate the elevation gain, but you would be going downhill for the first 4.5 miles till you get to Post Office Junction. From there, you'd head up the mountain on the saddle trail, make it to the summit. Then you'd go back down the saddle trail to Post Office Junction and start heading uphill on Old Rag Fire Road until you make it back to the parking area. In my opinion, with the length of this trail route, the uphill and downhill involved in it, and the lack of the scramble, this would be my least favorite option. The one good thing about this trailhead is it's located off of Skyline Drive, so you don't have to take your vehicle over to the Old Rag parking area or the Berry Hollow parking area. If you're staying in the National Park and you want to stick to Skyline Drive, that is an option. However, the Limberlost trailhead where you would park to start this hike has very limited parking. There are maybe 10 parking spots here. The only way I would recommend this hiking route option is if you really don't want to leave Skyline Drive, you want to stay parking near Skyline Drive, and you don't mind hiking 13 miles, starting the hike, going downhill, and then going uphill, and then going downhill, and then going back uphill till you get back to your parking area. All right, guys, we are starting to wrap up my video about the old rag hike. I hope you enjoyed this and found the information helpful. Of those four hiking options, option one, the old rag mountain loop and option three, Berry Hollow are the most popular route options. Options two and four, I don't recommend to most hikers. However, there might be some people that prefer one of those two options. Additional safety tips for hiking old rag include bringing lots of water with you. There is not a spot to refill your water anywhere on this hike. I also highly recommend wearing hiking boots with good traction on the base of your boots as some of the rocks are slippery to walk on. It helps to have that extra traction on your boots. I don't recommend doing this hike on an icy day because you're going to really struggle on the scramble section. Some benefits of doing this hike in the winter months is you get to see a little bit more of the surrounding landscapes and you get a little bit more viewpoints when the leaves are not on the trees. But in the summer months, you get beautiful lush green foliage all around you. You get to see wildflowers and you'll still get some pretty incredible views once you make it up the scramble to that false summit. And again, at the summit of Old Rag Mountain. My favorite time of year to do this hike is in late May, which is when I recorded this video for you guys. If you have additional questions regarding the Old Rag Mountain hike, leave a comment under this video and I'll answer that to the best of my knowledge. I have additional videos about Shenandoah National Park linked under this video if you're interested in checking those out. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future travel related content like this. Have a wonderful day everyone and happy travels!